So this video is actually gonna be for all of our mic builders out there. Uh, one thing we recently discovered is all BM800s are not created equally. Uh, this is one I bought for about $20 on Amazon four months ago. This is one I bought a week ago on Amazon. Uh, to some of you who are like, oh yes, but this one's branded and this one clearly says made in China. Uh, these are all the same. Uh, these are actually all over eBay, Alibaba, Amazon as the professional condenser microphone. And they're always advertised as large condenser. You're about to see a teardown and why I say always kind of check what you're about to buy. Um, these are actually both the same microphone, same specs. Uh, if we unscrew the bottom here. Tube and a ring. We have our circuit board. Much heavier metal than the first one. Much heavier tube than the first model. Completely different color circuit board. But you will notice, and we'll bring these closer to camera, you will notice it's the exact same circuit board. I've modded this one to add the ceramic. Uh, but this one has a FET. This one does not have a FET. Um, I've also modified this one to have larger capacitors. Same values though, just larger. Uh, this one has smaller capacitors, same values. But as you can see, they are identical. The frames are identical. Now let's actually take the grill off. It should be noted that the grills are interchangeable. They're actually garbage microphones. You might say, Andrew, why'd you buy two? Uh, because these are actually really interesting uh, for people who build microphones. They build them out of these microphones. Um, first thing you'll notice is they didn't even use the same plastic for the housing and the head. The capsule size is completely different. This, I believe, is a 16 millimeter capsule. This is close to a 10. Uh, this is an electric condenser with a built-in FET which is why there's no FET. This one does not have a built-in FET, which is why it needs one. Uh, it's also using different pinouts on the board. The circuit board is designed for both FET and non-FETed microphones. Kind of an interesting design. Uh, we don't typically see that kind of repurposing general purpose circuit board in manufacturing. So someone who designed this is really, really smart. And I've talked to some people on Alibaba about this and they're like, there's hundreds of these factories in Shenzhen China that make these. So I don't know who actually designed it. It wouldn't shock me if this wasn't from the government themselves to kind of figure out and make products. There's a big push called China uh, 2025 in which uh, they really are trying to get people to purchase and up the quality of products coming out of China. Uh, but this probably is not one of those products. Um, one thing that should also be noted is the two head baskets are not even the same height. Uh, completely different height here. One also is completely see-through, no foam. This one has black foam on the inside. Um, I actually prefer the silver head basket. It's actually got a little bit better build quality, but the specs, I mean, the milling, everything, the actual material that they used is the same. I can just tell a little bit. Uh, this one's a little bit cheaper and it feels cheaper. Uh, but both actually sold on Amazon for $18, $19, something similar like that. Uh, what a lot of people like to do is they'll build their own circuit board, replace the capsules, uh, put in a better capsule. One thing you can do, and that is that these capsules uh, from Monoprice can actually get popped in here and you can get a much bigger 19 millimeter capsule. Um, we, had a, uh, we had a blog post uh, not too long ago, we actually talked about how to replace the capsules inside the Monoprice capsules uh, with Transound capsules. We really liked how those sounded. You could actually add a Transound capsule right to this, uh, make a couple of modifications to the board, like the ceramics, like the bigger caps. Um, you could actually come in, uh, some people have shown how to replace some of these parts with higher quality parts. Um, it's, it's, it's a lot of work, uh, but you can also just put a brand new board in uh, and there's kits online that people sell. They do brand new boards. Uh, but overall, for $18, 
This is not a bad little microphone to buy if what you wanna do is modify it, build off of it, and have a lot of fun, and learn how microphones work. Uh, one thing we'll probably do in the future is probably change off caps. I have not done much with these things. I think I bought them on a whim. Uh, this one I know I bought on a whim last week. Uh, we're gonna be designing some circuit board kits uh, for 2018 to kind of come out with so people can go and learn and play and kind of figure out if they want to learn how to make microphones. But this is actually a great little microphone to start out with as a uh, kit building to kind of figure out a very simple circuit. And there you go. If you guys get any questions, ask them down in the comments. Uh, this whole idea was not all BM800s are built the same. Uh, this one seems to be far more common uh, than this one, so we were kind of shocked to find this one. Uh, but I wish I had more of these head baskets. I prefer this head basket way over. And we'll have some links below in it, uh, to where we can get these. Uh, if you're gonna do a rebuild, I will actually suggest the white one on the white than this one. Uh, the actual body, I didn't like too much. The heavier body I preferred. This is only gonna take paint a lot better than this one. So I don't like how this ring is, the metal, it's a little, uh, this is gonna have to get sanded down. This one's already done up in paint and ink. So hit this with a primer, repaint it. You maybe even send it out to go get powder coated properly. And this is gonna look just like a million bucks once it's all said and done the right way. Uh, not with this garbage inside of it. But yeah, pretty simple stuff. And if some of you are curious what you can do with these, uh, one guy's actually done an MS design up in here. He's also done three capsules. Um, he's currently trying to work on an Ambisonic uh, 3D print, so you could put four different capsules and then do four different circuit boards in here, and then possibly uh, like a five, six, seven pin kind of connector down in here that you would actually have a breakout snake for. But that's what his design is, and I'll link to his blog right here, to Tom's blog. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you not all BM800s are built the same. And there's a simple teardown of the BM800. Also, don't forget, don't forget, hit the subscribe button right, right here. Hit it. Click it. Pretty please. Pretty, pretty please. Whatever.